a lot of lawmakers are in favor of getting rid of that that spring ahead and fall back change of the clock, but they don't know if what the permanent time should be. Should it be permanently daylight saving time or permanently standard time? And that's where lawmakers right now are having conversations behind closed doors, trying to figure out what that permanent time should be. If we're looking at New York and we're looking at December 21st, which is the winter solstice, it's the longest day of the year. The sun right now under current law is set to rise at 7.15 a.m. And the sun is set, supposed to set at 4.31 p.m. Now, if daylight savings time were made permanent and we didn't change the clock back in November, then the sun would actually rise at 8.15 a.m. and it would set at 5.31 p.m. That would take away one hour of morning sunlight and it would give us one more hour of, of daylight in the afternoon. That's logistically what this bill would do. And like I said, it passed through unanimous consent in the Senate and then it went to the House. When it arrived in the House in March, at first, it received a warm welcome. Speaker Pelosi, she endorsed making daylight savings time permanent. A lot of lawmakers were interested in what this could mean. A couple days later, though, some started having some reservations, requesting some more research, some more information into the bill. And then after that, it really went radio silence. When it passed the Senate, many will remember, it created a real buzz because something unique about a bill that affects daylight saving time is that it affects everyone across the country. Soon, that interest quickly died out. And then, like I mentioned, we didn't hear about it. So now, where does the bill stand in the House? Exactly when it arrived in March. It has not left committee yet. While there are some internal disagreements regarding what permanent time should be, there's also a general consensus that this just is not a priority at the current moment. And that's because right now, Congress has to deal with so many other issues, rising inflation, uh, legislation being passed in the wake of horrifying gun massacres, legislation being passed in the wake of Supreme Court decisions. So Congress has a lot on their plate right now, and lawmakers just do not see a bill to make daylight saving time permanent as top on that list. It's not along party lines that the disagreement is. It's actually along geographical areas. People who are in high tourism areas, areas that really thrive on tourism, their economy benefits a lot from tourism, they want people to stay outside more during the day. You stay outside more, you spend more money. You know, it's better for the for the, for the community. So those lawmakers in these tourism tourist areas, they want that extra hour to be in the afternoon. But if you look at a rural farmer community where they really thrive on mornings and being able to work in the morning under the sun, they think that it's more optimal for them to have that extra hour in the morning. So it's really all about preference and where you are on geographical lines and where that extra hour would be best spent for you. The push behind daylight savings is actually a decades long push. In 1974, President Nixon actually signed a bill that made daylight savings permanent for two years. It would be a two year trial run making daylight saving time permanent. And it was that decision was made in an effort to combat the gas shortage. Nine months later, President Ford actually signed a bill reversing that legislation that made daylight saving time permanent for two years because it was just so unpopular. Public opinion was not there. It absolutely plummeted. Looking now, though, public opinion is absolutely there backing this effort. A Monmouth University poll was conducted back in March, and it found that 61 percent of Americans want to stop changing their clocks twice a year. They want to stop with the fall back and the spring forward. When this bill passed the Senate, there was a lot of excitement and a lot of buzz, and it shows that the American people are actually in favor of this change. Whether or not it will go into effect, the odds look slim right now, but public opinion is definitely behind it. Thank you.